My name is Nikolai Lamone, Firefighter 2 from Fire Station 40 Mecca, and you're watching Report on Conditions. On this week's episode, we take a look at a vegetation fire that occurred near Lamb Canyon and Dump Road just south of Beaumont. And we take a moment to acknowledge our firefighters and supporting staff as they work through the Thanksgiving holiday. Hi, I'm Maggie Klein De La Rosa. Thank you for joining Cal Fire Riverside County Fire Department's Report on Conditions. For the past week, from November 13th to November 19th, our firefighters responded to 3,874 calls for service, including 2,876 medical emergencies and 114 fire-related calls. Of the fire calls, 23 were vegetation fires and nine were structure fires. Let's take a look at a few highlighted incidents from the past week. On Monday, November 13th at 2.30 in the afternoon, firefighters responded to a fire that was reported in the 4300 block of Soto Avenue in the city of Harupa Valley. The first arriving medic patrol reported a single story, single family dwelling with heavy fire visible from the front with one vehicle also involved in fire. Southern California Edison was requested to assist with the electrical utilities and firefighters were able to contain the fire in about 20 minutes. Resources were on scene for approximately four hours working on heavy overhaul and mop-up. There were no injuries reported. On Tuesday, November 14th at around 10.30 in the morning, 911 dispatchers received multiple reports of a fire near Lamb Canyon and Dump Road in the unincorporated county area south of Beaumont. The first engine to arrive on scene reported three to five acres of light flashy fuels burning with a potential for 100 acres, as well as a separate spot fire that was an eighth of an acre. Additional engines and water tenders were requested to respond. Firefighters were able to stop the forward progress of the fire after about an hour and worked for several hours to fully contain the fire at 13 acres. No injuries were reported. On Sunday, November 19th at 10.30 in the morning, fire engines were dispatched to a reported traffic collision near San Jacinto Avenue and Pico Avenue in the Nuevo area. The first arriving engine reported a solo pickup truck versus a pole with the truck split in half and three patients. A total of three ambulances were dispatched to the incident and all three patients were transported to local area trauma centers for treatment. The Riverside County Fire Department is currently enrolling volunteer reserve firefighters and other vital volunteer roles. Whether you want to start an exciting career in the fire service or just want to serve your community, visit rvcfire.org to find out more. Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my friend Maggie and we are Danger Rangers with the fire department. We're here to talk about holiday safety. Choose holiday decorations that are flame resistant or flame retardant. Keep lit candles 12 or more inches away from decorations and other things that can burn. Replace any string lights with worn or broken cords or loose bulb connections. Make sure to turn off or unplug lights before going to bed or leaving home. Be sure to water your tree daily. A dry tree is a fire hazard. Make sure the tree is at least three feet away from any heat sources, like fireplaces, radiators, candles, heat vents, or lights. A lit candle or another hot object next to your tree can cause a holiday tragedy. A heat source too close to the tree causes one in every four Christmas tree fires. More than one of every four home Christmas tree fires is caused by electrical problems. Although Christmas tree fires are not common, when they do occur, they are more likely to be serious. Don't get burned this holiday season. As we're all preparing to celebrate the Thanksgiving holiday, let's take a moment to shout out our first responders who make immeasurable sacrifices on a daily basis. While we all gather with family and friends, our dedicated staff remains on duty, ready to respond to emergencies. Their sacrifices are a testament to the content of their character and their compassion for others. What you do for your communities does not go unnoticed, and the service you provide is valued more than words can express. So this Thanksgiving, know that you are appreciated for your dedication and selflessness. Oh, 
Hi, I'm Marissa Gruich. I'm a Contracts and Grants Analyst with the Riverside County Fire Department. Grants are financial awards given from one entity to another. These awards can be used to support projects and initiatives or purchase equipment and supplies. The department has received millions of dollars in grant funding, and currently we're managing over $5 million in those awarded funds. One of the largest projects we currently have is the Elsinore Front Country Fuel Break. It's a 21 and a half mile long, 300 foot wide shaded fuel break that will protect the communities in Wildemar all the way up to just south of Corona. The 25th Annual Peace Officer and Public Safety Awards Luncheon was held last week, and seven of our very own were awarded with Firefighter of the Year. We'd like to take this time to congratulate Fire Captain Trey Smith, Fire Captain Chris Elms, Fire Captain Bryce Medicus, Firefighter 2 Paramedic Thomas Eldridge, Fire Apparatus Engineer Paramedic David Fassenmeyer, Firefighter Paramedic Ryan Summers, and Firefighter 2 Daniel Lucido. Fantastic work to you all, gentlemen. You brought great pride not only to yourself, but to the department as a whole. That's it for this week's Report on Conditions. Be sure to follow at Cal Fire RRU on social media to stay up to date on incidents as they happen. Did you happen to capture any pictures or videos of our firefighters in action? If so, send them our way at rrupio at fire.ca.gov. On behalf of your Cal Fire Riverside County Fire Department Public Affairs and Community Education Bureau, I'm Maggie Klein De La Rosa. Happy Thanksgiving and thanks for watching.